Oh, it's raining. Gosh darn it, Doug. Yesterday on the radio, he said it was going to be sunny, I thought. And it is just downpouring. Dude, space is coming down today, boys. Okay, so my truck is way back in there. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's literally way back in the far building because it's hooked up to the PJ still. I got to make a sprint for it. So we just don't get downpoured on. We're going to tour a dairy farm. A local farmer over in Wisconsin. Yeah, if you guys know Hank, I was talking to Hank the other day. He's like, hey, stop on out. So that's what we're doing. Okay, here we go. Let's make a sprint for it. <sighs> By the way, this is a good time to say, smash that like button. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Just give her a tap, give her another tap, and then give her another tap, and you'll smash that like button. So thank you. Thank you to all who do it. We made it to the Ford. Now the only thing I gotta do is unhook this PJ, get the PJ unhooked, and then we're gunning it on down to Wisconsin. And keep cranking up the gooseneck. There we go. We got the truck pulled out. Truck is ready. She's a little dirty. It's been muddy, but if you guys don't remember, a little update. I got oats planted on the field to the left of us. Part of the field to the left of us. And then part of here. We'll just pull on over here. This field over here behind these bins is completely planted with oats. All my other ground here, well, we haven't done anything to them. That is not good. Because right now, we're uh, we're getting towards summer. We need to get corn and we need to get beans in the ground. Because we're in Northeast Iowa. Once fall hits, she snows hard. I'm talking hard. So, we really got to get going. But, as always, we did get some ground tilled up. So, we're making some, we're making some progress over there. Some of the ground's tilled up. So, a quick little side note. I mentioned this in, com in a community post yesterday. But, dude... There are some crazy things coming to farm in Simulator. Some crazy things, and I can't tell you guys yet, but it, it, in a good way. In like everybody with a PC, I should say, is going to be able to use it. Yeah, I guess. If that's a good way to describe it, but oh, two weeks or so, three, four weeks maybe, you guys will know about it. Let's just say it's game changing. It's going to be good. I'm going to top, top off with some gas at the local BP. Run inside, probably grab a little Snickers because I'm a little old. We'll get fuel going, run inside, and then we got to get to Wisconsin. Okay, we're fueled. Let's keep ro rolling. Oh, is that a Chevy? That looks like a Chevy. Chevy with the Minneapolis Moline. You know what? That may be Hank. That may be Hank right there, actually. I'm going to go follow him. That's the only guy I know in Wisconsin and Iowa that runs a Minneapolis Moline. Looks like Deer has a new, has a new, uh, new combine in that I haven't seen on their lot. Hmm, maybe you have to check that out. Hey, bud, how you doing? Good, how are you doing, Hank? Uh, pretty good. Uh, I don't remember, I can't remember what your name was. Uh, what, what was your name again, bud? It was Grant. Grant. Oh, hey, yep. Grant, Grant, I got you. Yeah. What are you doing out here right now? Well, what are you doing outside, man? She's rain cats and dogs. Getting your pickup truck. Roll down the window. I gotta, I gotta do work. I gotta get my bail, I gotta get my bail spike for the front end of my Minneapolis. Oh, shoot. Well, hey, I, so I'm coming over to your place still, right? Still invited? Yeah. Okay. Oh shoot! I completely forgot that was today. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, be, okay. Um, I, hey, dude, I gotta run. I got ten head of cattle up there. Oh. Uh, well, obviously not ten head of cattle. I, I got ten head of cattle, but they're they're hungry. Okay. I need to get okay. some, I need to get some stuff going here. So. Do you want any help? Uh no. Well, not. I guess yeah. If you could. Uh, yeah, hang on just a second. Yeah, if you could put that locking pin, well, the pin in where it was when I get onto the bale spike, because I'm most likely to leave it on here for a while. If you can yep, put that. Yep, I got you. Oh, that's good. good. Keep coming, keep coming. Hold on, hold on. there we go. Okay, let me. It's locked. Good? It's hooked. You're good to go. All right. And yeah, thanks, bud. Yep. Yeah, just gotta get this thing up here. Yeah, I'll guide you up here. There you go. Right keep on. coming. Yep. Keep coming up. Yep. There. There you there go. go. And then come straight forward. All right. Watch your head. Yep. All right. Thanks, bud. You uh, sure that Chevy can pull that? Here, oh, GMC. Okay. Yeah. So you, you heard Doug's got... radio ads, right? About those Chevys? Mm-hmm. Chevy. Can't get enough of them. Built like a rock. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you over at your place then. I'll just follow you yep. there. All right. I got to get the straps down on this quick, so I'll catch you in just a minute, bud. Oh. What is this? Turbo 8820 combine. Man. Looks like it just got shipped in for somewhere for somebody. Well... While we're here, I guess I'll just fess up. 
I purchased this combine. We bought it over in Illinois. They shipped it up here to uh, Northeast Iowa. And this 8820 is ours. There's a couple different things I got to get done on it, but I should be taking it home later this afternoon. So I want to get the combine in check, everything bought. So we bought this 8820 turbo combine. So this is what we're running with. Now, guys, I'm going to be honest. I, at one point, was one to run an axle flow, uh, a case, but things just didn't work out. Don't get me wrong. I really wanted to go with one. I really wanted to give them a chance. I was really hoping, but things just didn't work out the best. Let's turn the radio on. Uh, what channel, what channel, what channel, what station do we want? This is Doug at 97.3, the Goldie, the best country hits of the 80s. We got a bad storm cell rolling into McGregor later tonight. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning. Grab your kids, grab your wife, grab your cats and dogs, grab your smokes, you'll need those. Want a pickup truck that'll get you through a tornado? Buy a gosh dang Chevy, Chevy, built like a rock. And we have our first home computer advertiser. With these computers, you can work from home, you plug them into the wall, and you press the power button. Instead of handwriting messages, you can type them with a keyboard. Feel free to check out Apex Gaming PCs dot com and use code squad for 10 percent off this is duck at 97.3 the goldie out up next on the road again my good old willie nelson so this is the road up to hank's farm holy crap damn this is steep through here my gosh that's chevy hey i gotta give it i gotta give it or i guess gmc chevy uh i gotta give it to that gmc if he is able to pull that up there, that's pretty impressive. Not going to lie. Then he has some torque. So this is cool. Now, Hank was telling me there's an insane view up at the top by his place. Like, you can oversee the Mississippi, and I see why. Wow. I bet. I don't want to go across some random farm field over there, but I bet if you go kind of just down towards that. Yep. Look. You can literally see McGregor from here. Oh, wow. You can see, hey, see the water tower way in the distance? My gosh, dude. So this is, yep, there's Hank. This is Hank's place. Let's help Hank out here. I got him. Keep coming, Hank. Keep coming. I get back there? Yeah, come to your right a little bit. All right. Oh, 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 you got to pull forward. Oh. Pull out. You're about to hit this pole here. Oh, all right. There we go. Second attempt. Okay. Bring her to your right. We good? Yep. Keep coming. Let me win. Keep coming. Keep coming. Good. 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 Let her touch Come a little on. bit. That's the way we like her. Ah. Dang it. That will be good. Let us undo that from the... Yeah. Uh, the I'll crank here. her up over here. I'm cranking all right. her. All right. I'm going to put down a tailgate here quick. Yep. Pull this out quick. And I'm gonna go park this back up at the house quick. So I'll be just meet me out back by the back shed and I'll catch you in just a second. Okay. Hey, Hank, Hank. I, I got what? I gotta I gotta say something. I you I saw something, I just I can't let you go without it. You're what? uh Your ball's not greased, man. And I, your issue? Hold on, just stay here. Stay here. Gosh darn this crime. Um, okay. Uh, apparently Grant's got something for us. What do you got? Here's the Ball Greaser 1000. Been selling oh, them really? for two years, since 1981. Yeah. Can I grease your ball with all due respect? Put her on here, give her a couple pumps. Okay, and? And there we go, she's greased. Okay, what does this the, product do for me? I'm very confused. The Ball Greaser 1000. We've been slicking them spheres since 1981, brother. You want one? 59.99. 59.99? Boy, I don't got that kind of money. Are you crazy? Do you know? How much havoc a not non-greased ball can have to your trailer? It's pretty simple. You... It goes over the top, it locks, and then it doesn't fall off. The only thing it affects is, is rust. What happens oh, when your ball rusts and then breaks and your trailer goes and kills a little boy that's just eating McDonald's sandwich on the sidewalk? Huh? You ever thought story. of that? Sad stories. This part was supposed to pull out a small violin. Exactly. Hank. You're asking sixty bucks out of me for something okay, that I can't. Tell you what, tell you what, Hank, I usually I usually you're a good guy. I usually sell them to customers for sixty bucks. I'll, I'll give you forty bucks. Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Best bucks. I can do. 
All right, I got a deal for you. When I start production here and I start getting some more product to sell out this here dairy farm, how about this? You have to buy a couple bit of my stock and you get to be the first tester of it, but you have to pay up for it. I'll pay you the 40 bucks for this thing if you buy some stuff out of it from me. That's a gosh dang deal, Hank. Let's do it. All right. Hank, you want, you want to smoke, Hank? Yeah, heck up. Hit me up. Okay. Here you, you got go. a light? Yeah. All right, I left mine in the truck. Here you go. Shoot, where'd you get these? These are good. Yeah, these are the good old camels. The same stuff I've been always using. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Hey, mm. and actually, this is uh, your smokes. I uh, one from you. You remember that tug of war a couple weeks ago? Oh. Yeah. I mean, that thing that that's... Yeah. Oh, You're God, the one that God. bought the smokes. For yourself. I'm fine. Here's... Okay. Look, let me run into the house quick. I'll go grab my 60... I'll go grab 40 bucks. I'll be right back. All right. Hey! Happy, happy, joy, joy. Thanks, Here's Hank. Here's your 40 bucks. Appreciate it. Here's your, yep. uh... You just want the ball greaser in the cab of your truck, or...? Yeah, I just put it in the... Actually, hang on. Yeah, just throw it behind the seat. Okay. There you go. She's in there. Give me so this tour, Hank. All right. Well, first of all, if you just wanted a quick little farm tour, this is kind of like trailer area, just because I'm that way. Okay. Uh, here's your swing... Well, uh, here's my swing set for... For some uh, for some uh, fun, but I can't have you sit on the swing because I think you'll break it because you're a little little on the uh, heavier end. Uh, it's a little shed, just for just for storage again. Okay. Nice got a nice little house here. If you do if you would like to be interested in the actual dairy business though, all the big workhorses are stored in that shed. We do not run any deer, sadly, but everything let's, we let's have check in them there out. is. A, oh yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We run an old fashioned Alice Chalmer. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't remember that. Is that a brand new case 235 lumbar? Yeah. Oh, we, I picked the sucker up. Uh, that local... Oh, shoot. What, what's the name of that dealer in town? Isn't it uh, Great Plains? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The Great Plains. I got it from them. Uh, they uh, they hooked me up with a killer deal on this thing. I got a package. I got one of those little uh, tiller thingies that go on the back. Uh, I also got a snow blade for the winter. I don't know why it's sitting like that. I have to readjust it, but... Got a nice big mower deck on the bottom. It'll be really nice for the acreage area. Hank, I can't even imagine riding one of these beauties, mowing the lawn, one leg up, camel on the mouth, butt on the side, just sipping oh, away. You know, oh. <laughs> you know it. Next thing is uh, our nice, um, my older Alice Chalmer 190 uh, T Series 3. This is just going to okay. be a kind of little bit of an errand tractor. It's, it's smaller than the Minneapolis right now. My Minneapolis right here, this is the biggest workhorse on the fleet. She'll mainly be doing all the hay buying, uh, the baler, well, maybe not the baler, but it'll be doing all the carrying of the bales. Just, you know, big duty. Like, it's, it's got the biggest job on the, on, the, on the thing here. Okay. Nice little uh, Massey Ferguson over here. I've had this for about a year oh. or two. See, I, I just bought a new deer uh, skid loader. It's not as big as this, mm -hmm. but it gets the job done. That thing will lift. This, this thing yeah. probably lifts me even more. Yeah, she's got a little bit of better up. Uh, counterweight on it just because it's a little bit bigger okay have you gotten one of these things yet this thing i haven't gotten yet. i've used it a couple times it's a uh, it's a baler it's a right well no the, this it's a receiver oh. on the you got a receiver on the front end of your uh, oh plate. So you did that custom made uh actually yeah i did well a guy welded it myself Dang. i got the plate i cut out i torched off the it was it used to be uh what was this? Hank, you better get out that goal, ball greaser one thousand. That ball's not greased. Get her out. Yeah. Nope. It's in the truck, I'm too lazy. Okay. But anyway, let's head to the head operation of the fleet. Besides the besides the machines that make this operation work, let's go down here to the big blunt, big dog. So got our nice little entrance way here for you. When you're rolling up, the store is uh the store is currently in the process of still being kind of built. But there's just a couple, we might have a little bit of a storage area, not storage, a little bit of a store area up here just so you can kind of overlook the operation. So we'll have, uh, we have a couple, we're kind of still getting everything set up still. But if you follow me down the stairs here, you'll, oh, oh, never mind, it's the wrong staircase actually. Uh, over here we got our big, uh, just kind of our overlook of where the main feed lot would be. The main cows are actually under us, so we'd have to walk around to get to them. But all the Bessies are right below us, so you'd be able to get that uh, product smell. We do offer our things that we're going to be selling mainly are uh, cheese, milk, uh, 
pro pro <laughs> pasteurized milk. That's okay. going to be a little bit more expensive. Pretty much you can just go to the store and buy it cheaper. Not going to lie, but ours is organic, but still, it, it's, it's really good milk. It's, re it's really good quality. Have you ever actually made cheese before? Never. Never have? Mm -mm. It's, it's an interesting process. I'll have to make sure I get you a pack of the, the cheese curds once we get done with it in, the, in our fat. Yeah, I'd love to try them. All right. Well, let's head downstairs quick, and I'll show you uh, all the moo-moos that we got. We got 10 head of cattle. They are uh, the highest. Right now, they're the highest producing of. Shoot, it's wet. Get it. Get down. Get down. Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay, there we go. Right now, this is going to be our main loading door for all the milk. So whenever we sell, uh, whenever oh, we get. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Holy watch, crap. Our, watch yourself. Uh, whenever we get ourselves uh, the actual milking process going here, we'll get all 10 cows lined up. As you can see, uh, this is actually Bessie right here. Okay. So I had a Bessie. This is our best dairy cow right now. It'll every cow is uh, hand milked right now. We wish we could have some. Or hopefully, they get up some new system that'll auto milk them. But we still do it all by hand. Uh, hey. This is our. So, so do you we'll do everything, or do you have an employee? Um, we don't really have. I don't really have any real any employees right now. I mean, I have some friends that'll come over and help me out when yeah. it gets a little rough. Okay. Uh, with with we used to, like last year around this time we had only six cattle but we added four more so we might need to get a couple extra hands on deck if okay. anything but we'll put out some ads in town over there in iowa or yeah. possibly at the casey's in town right now but uh the process will be uh they'll be we might get them in some free range pastures around the house so they can go graze and all that and then same uh, we'll have a certain milk time uh eight and no it's i think every night every nine o'clock in the morning they'll get milked once and then we'll bring them in again at 7 o'clock at night for a second one. And it'll produce about enough to fill up that tank over there, our milk tank behind you. Okay. That'll okay. fill that up. And then just storage, and then we'll sell it to you guys. Well, if you ever if you ever need any bales or hay, I'm going to be making I, a lot of hay this summer. That Yes, I'm going to need a lot okay. of hay. I okay. can guarantee you that we probably work something out good then. Uh, oh. Yeah, we got a nice, uh, pretty, pretty decent sized lot when it comes to their just so once they get done milking, they'll come out here. They can graze uh, the feed that we already have set up as well as water. As you can see, we have a nice big water tank so we don't have to worry about them. That, that's pretty much the dairy farm, though. I mean, I hope you can come out here and buy some stuff from me because it'll be a little bit more pricey than usual. But I can guarantee you the quality and the taste and everything, it'll be a lot better than yeah. buying it in the store. Yeah, well, sounds yeah. good. Hank, I think your turds will taste good. Uh, yeah, right. Buddy. Curds. It's curds. Curds. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I mean, if you want a cow pie, I can definitely. No, 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 no. no. Fresh, fresh pie. Well, mm -hmm. Hank, oh, I, if you I, gotta get go I gotta run to, I gotta run to deer and pick up a combine, and I think Ooh, it's supposed to. Did you get one of those new 8820s? Yeah. Oh, 8820. On, got a coordinator, but it just got. It just got holed up from Illinois. They, it's a used one, and it's not brand new. It's a couple years old. They bought it from, bought it from Illinois. Oh, I gotta go inside and get dried off. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that field work. Oh, I appreciate the tour, man. Get a no gosh problem. dang good old Reagan handshake in there. There you go. Get it. All right. There we go. You drive, you get home safe for wherever you're going. Let me know how that new combine works out. I will. Hank, if you ever need anything, equipment, anything, let me know. Hank seemed like a good guy. He's a, he's a good guy to be around. He really is. Can't wait to have some of those delicious turds. But if this rain doesn't quit, I don't know what's going to happen. And I called uh, I called up to Johnson and Bros, and they're they're still working on the combine. They're just servicing everything because it is a used combine. It does have 150 hours on it. So uh, they're getting everything, all the fluids changed, make sure everything was perfect before I take that home. So I'm going to start stopping to the co-op because I was talking to Jake the other day and he had a sprayer. Let's see if he's around. And it's something, a sprayer, something we need. I'm just trying, there's so much more equipment, guys, that we need. Gravity wagon, sprayers, potentially grain cart, heck, maybe even a straight truck. There's so much more stuff we need. Let's see if he's around. There he is. The man, the legend, Jake. How you doing, man? Hey, Gran, how's it going? Good, good. How are you? So where's that sprayer you were telling me about? Yeah, yeah we got it parked right around back here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. She you looks, said she was pretty bad, rough, but she's but... pretty gosh dang bad. Oh, you know, I wouldn't even be able to tell you. It's been used plenty. I can okay. tell you that. Tires hold air. Yep. 
Tank yep, bearings doesn't, work, no problems. Tank doesn't leak? Nope, no leaks. All the hoses are good, too. Okay. All the nozzles work fine. I mean, it's just really cosmetically she's got some rust, but that's yeah. it. Well, Jake, how much are you asking for it? Oh, I think uh, oh, I think about 500 ought to do it. What do you say? Would you take 450 and ask Reagan a handshake? Oh, you had to bring Reagan into it. Yeah, you know what? I respect it. I'll take 450 and a Reagan handshake. 450, we got a deal. Get in here, brother. All right. Okay. 450. 450. Let me get. Uh, shoot, I got to run to the bank quick. I got to get cash at the bank. Yeah, no problem. Careful I run trust to the bank you. And then come back. Yep, go for it, boss. So we got to run to Wells Fargo real quick, and it's just right up here. We pass it literally every day. Run to Wells Fargo, get the 450 cash, give it to Jake. Hopefully the tellers don't give me any weird looks with uh, these bad boys back here. Well, we'll see. Yep. Thanks, you too. We got the cash. The 450 cash. And all we got to do is run back to Jake. I got four Benjamins and a good old 50 for you, Jake. All right. I'll take that. And she's yours. Well, thank you. I better back the old Ford up and we'll hook up to her here. Keep coming. Yep, keep coming back. There you go. Bring her to... Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Right there, right there. Hope. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Jake. See you, man. Well, everything seems to work on the old gal. I just... We got to figure out a tractor we're going to use for this thing. I don't know. I think... Well, I guess I probably don't want to spray with the 4440 just because... Nothing wrong with it. Those chemicals are great for your system, Doc was saying, but uh, I just I hate the smell of them. So I'll probably spray, and it's nice to sit in the AC cab, so we'll probably spray with the 4450. I don't think I can be spraying with that Massey. Now, I did stop by Johnson Bros Deer, and they said it's going to be tomorrow so I can come pick up my combine. They're just finishing up a couple things, so we'll probably have to pick her up tomorrow, but... It's dried up to the point where it's going to be sketchy in the fields, but it's been pretty windy this afternoon, and it stopped raining around noon, and I think I may be able to get in the field. It's kind of stupid. The sprayer has sat outside for like 20 plus years, so what better way to just put her in a shed? Welcome home, new sprayer, and we'll keep going. There we go. Drop the hitch, crank up the jack. There we go. She's unhooked. Perfect. Ooh, ah, morning, morning, morning. This is what we're talking about. She's beautiful. So we didn't get playing at all last night. I drove out the field. It was way too wet. The ground's just a tad too cold. I think if I wait by the end of the day today, that ground temp, with that, if that sun hits hard, it's supposed to be pretty warm out. I think we'll be good to go. It's just... I don't know if it's go time just yet. I don't want to screw anything up. So, but that's okay. We have other things we can do. The combine is ready. They said it was going to be ready today. I haven't gave them a call because, well, Johnson Bros just opened. So, we're going to head down there. Now, I took the pickup truck just because I figured, well, we'll probably be better off just driving that combine instead of hauling it with the semi. Because it's just going to be a mess, especially with the headers with that semi and I'm the 8820 I bought I didn't measure the the axles but it's probably too wide to even fit on the trailer but we're gonna go in pay for it and make sure everything's good and the 8820 turbo is ours yep thanks guys so she's ours they were busy with other customers they're like hey if you we can stop out the farm later and run you through it as long as you know how to operate this. Why is the hazard light on? They're going to ruin these batteries. But they're like, hey, yeah, we, we can stop out later and run you through it. So that's the plan. It's got a six row corn header and a 25 foot head. I think it'll be absolutely perfect for the farm because we're playing with a 12 row planter. So six row corn header, that'll work great. Turbo 8820. Let's jump on in her. Okay, so I think the key's in her. We'll turn the key over here. Fire her up. Ho, 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 ho. So this should lift the header. 
There we go. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I've never, I've never been in a combine to where, the, like, I'm centered off to, or I'm, I'm, I'm off to the left. This is so weird. I feel like I need to be in the center of the head. Feels like half my header is missing right now. This is weird. She seems to run good. We'll put those hazards on, and then I gotta come back for the pickup truck also later. Let's hit the road. This is a big machine. Now, I thought driving the Massey was a big... It's a big tractor, but the 8820 is so high up off the ground. It's another beautiful morning, and we're supposed to get up to 70 degrees, so planting for sure is a go today. Unless the tornado just comes through real fast. But man, would you look at it. Now my grass is starting to get kind of long here. Like, I almost need a lawnmower soon, but that's kind of the least of my worries. I mean, who, who really needs a lawnmower? Aren't there... What are those people that eat grass for a living called? Uh, ve vegetarians. Yeah, I could call a couple of those guys up here. They'd love it out here. But also, our, along with our grass, our oats are starting to come up. They're starting to come up good. Because at the start of this episode, which was like three days ago, and now we're three days in. So, there's been a... There's just been a ton going on right now. We've been just getting hammered with rain, but now it's finally time to start planting. Combine is back. Now, the only thing is I got to jump the pickup truck, run down to Johnson and Bros, because they said it's going to be a couple days for that header. And I was like, I don't want that header sitting out in the rain. I just want to get it back. I just want to get it under in a building. So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to go pick it up. We'll go pick it up with the gooseneck trailer. It'll be fine. So that's what we got to do right now. So we got the old Ford loaded down. We got her loaded up. They just grabbed another combine. We just tossed the header on here. And this thing fits perfect. Well, because we got a 25-foot trailer and we got a 25-foot header. So there's a little rubbing going on down there. But, hey, she's going to be rubbing while she's scraping on the ground. So we're good. There's a little bit of weight for the old Ford here. And I need to wash this pickup truck. She's getting a little dirty. It's tough to see. But, man, one thing I'm excited about is just getting in the field and getting planted. With the 7200, the 4450. Whew. Get rid of the beans. Come on, old Ford. Pull her up here. Pull through here. And then for now, I'm just going to... I could probably switch this out. But for now, I'm just going to back the pickup truck into the into the shelter. And we're just going to leave the header on the trailer for now. We'll keep going. Keep backing her up. And there we go. Now, one thing I was thinking about is getting a, uh, a tank for, like, fertilizer on the PJ. And just have this set up as our seed. But all, pretty much all of our farms are around around the home farm where I can just run back with the planter and load up from here. So, we're probably good. Okay, for now, we are just going to leave the old high boy hooked up. Now, I still haven't tested that sprayer to see if it works or not. We'll figure it out later. But it is go time. We got to get planted. And I got to figure out where I'm going to put this combine because it cannot stay here because usually I back the planter in here. We'll probably have to put it back there. For now, she can stay there. Let's jump in the old 4450, get her fired up, and then let's get seed fertilizer. Let's go playing. Starts right up. So we got the tractor there, and little Johnny is just stuck back here. And I don't really want to fire these up to move it, but I think I can just open up. Let's see, let's open up this door. I think I might be able to fit little Johnny just right through here. Load up the planter. The only thing is I gotta. Ah, you know what? It's probably just better if we just move the forty, the forty-four forty. We'll let her warm up for a bit, and then we'll just pull her out so little Johnny can get out and fill the planter. There we go. We'll put her in gear. See if we can fit through here with the duels. I gotta take these duels off. Because right now, we really don't need them. There we go. And then, heck, for now, I'm just gonna back in here. Right there. There we go. Back her up. Okay, there we go. That'll be good for now. Little Johnny can get out. We'll be good to go. Make sure everything's going good. Yep. Get her full throttle. This little Johnny may be my favorite piece of equipment. This thing can lift about anything you put at it. He just goes. He just goes. He loves it. So I'm going to drive down here and then just sneak around the planter. And we'll start filling it back there. 
Dude, this is a lot of weight we have for seed here. Little Johnny. He handles her good. Okay. Come on, little Johnny. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now let's sneak around back here. We'll start filling these. So you saw the bags we were about able to get this. We were about able to fit 36 bushels in here, which is only about three quarters full. So what I want to do is, because we're going to use all this corn seed, I want to grab the other bag of corn seed, the other pallet, I should say, which is kind of, kind of in a tight situation. Maybe I should pull the planter around. But let me back this up. We go grab it. It's stuck. It's on the opposite end of the farm. So we'll go grab that other bag, and then we'll fill, we'll toss a couple bags in there. And the the boxes will be full. New Johnny, getting the job done. I love him. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. Now the other pallet we were holding, if you guys remember, was only uh, it was probably it was probably half full because we've used half the bags already. So this pallet is a lot heavier than the other pallet we're even carrying right now. Little Johnny, oh, okay, let's turn the lights off. I got the lights on. There we go. But little Johnny, he just goes. I may be able to fit in between these two tires. This is a little sketchy here, but I got to lift over the these tires, and I think we'll be able to fit through here. Yup. Now I'll get out and then just start dumping the rest of these in the boxes. There we go. I tossed about five bags of seed in there. We're full. Jump in, little Johnny, and then just well, heck. For now, I'll just. I'm just going to pull in here for now. Oh, by the way, the 4900, it's a new updated version of the mod, and this thing sounds like a beast. It's actually got the, the actual true common sounds, and it's got lights fixed on it. Oh, listen to this thing. Well, let's crank her over. Listen to this puppy. It sounds so good. But yeah, the sounds on it, oh, so much better. Last thing we need to do is pull around back, fill up with liquid fertilizer. We're ready to rock and roll. So we're going to pull in and we're going to get this side of the field completely done. And then we're going to work over here and get all of our ground over here done. Hopefully we can get it all done today. I don't know if that's going to be possible though. We'll pull through there. I already got the planter. I didn't want to fold the planter in because I knew we'd fit through here fine so here's our oats I'm, I'm gonna try my best not to run over the oats too much but we may be planting into them a little bit gonna pull forward get the planter and I think what I'm gonna do is do the headlands last get the marker out okay we should be good to go I'm gonna make sure everything's working fine We'll just go slow first gear for now. And then, <laughs> Now they say they're coming out with some of that GPS stuff, so that'd be cool, but I think that's probably 20, 30 years off before we get some good GPS in here. Heck, I don't even know what GPS is. Okay, I think we can crank her up a couple gears. Okay, I'm gonna stop, get out of the tractor, and make sure the seed depth it's about two inches I want to go a tad bit less than two inches we're on a full steam ahead boys put her in gear here now I wonder how that's going to turn out because I did overlap a little bit over the oats which is fine but I wonder how that's going to turn out because we won't be able to if there's corn growing through there I won't be able to harvest that oats that's fine I'm more worried about corn than I am the oats so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to do passes straight up here and then I'll worry about this later. I want to go in straight rows, I guess. So I'm not going to make my curve around here yet. We're just going to get this side done and then we'll go back and forth back here. And I think that'll work fine. <laughs> but this is a test to see how straight can I plant. Right now I think we're doing good. It's going to be nice to have that marker over there. And we'll just plant all the way into the grass and then I'll lift her up. There we go. We'll swoon around here. Okay, I think we're good to go. 
We'll drop her down. Fold in that marker. We'll get that marker out. Okay, so, so now all I gotta do is keep this point right on this line and just keep going back and forth. Create my next row over. We should be good to go. Let's crank her up the gear. Looks like some guys already got their corn in. My gosh, I must be behind. I can't believe those guys must have went so early to get their corn in like that. Man. We even got some weeds growing throughout the field. There we go. We'll lift her up. Make the turn here. This is most likely going to be our last pass. I really don't need that other ridge marker out there, so I'll fold that in. Put the other one in. There we go. So these hit these hills are getting me a little worried right now. But this is nothing compared to what I have for some hills over there. Okay, this should be our last pass through here. And then we'll be done with this end. But we do have that far end of the field yet that we gotta we gotta get planned. Drop her down, fold that ridge marker up. There we go. So far the 4450 just pulls right up here. These hills, no issue. Of course it is a planner. It's not like we're pulling big tailage or a big disc behind it. But you can tell it is a little soft. You can see mud kicking up off the tires there. America. Okay, we're done with this end. So I'm going to run up here and then we're going to plant these rows. Uh, it'll be east to west here because we just planted north to south. So I'm just going to plant these rows east to west. We should be good. Let's crank her up a gear. So I think I'm going to start by just getting this headland done. I know I said I was going to do the headlands after, but we're going to get this headland done. And I don't, I'm only going to do one pass here. I don't need to do another pass. So that means we don't need to drop those markers down at all. And heck, you know what we're going to do? So we're just going to go through here. We'll lift her up. And then I'm just going to swing around to the other side here and then do that. Because here, we have all the room in the world to turn around. That's kind of what's nice about some of our ground. But you do got to be careful because we're on some slopes. If I'm finishing a row and turn around with the combine, I got to be careful turning around some of this stuff. It does get a little seep down through here. But heck, this is free hay ground. If I'm not going to use this, I'm going to make hay out of this or just grass or some bales. And then I can sell those over to Hank. We'll lift her up. Swing around here. See, this is the part you got to be careful on. There we go. I don't want to make sure that dual hits that tongue there. Pull around here. So we have one more pass to make. Now, I've been thinking about this for a while now. Uh, but you know what would be kind of a cool feature? Is, see, right here we're running into an issue. I'm going to do this slow. But we're running into an issue right now where I planned this, but I haven't planned this middle spot. And I'm wasting so much seed overlapping this. And heck, maybe even a bad yield because the crop's just going to take from other crop and we're just overlapping right now. It'd be cool if we had like a row shut off, like to where these outer three rows where, where I've already planted just kind of shut off and, and it's only these middle ones going. That'd be kind of cool. Cool technology we could bring to farming. It'd also be pretty cool if I could plant my crops with a jetpack. But I think we're a ways out from that yet too. See, like right here would be perfect because I'm overlapping and I'm planting. So, I, I, it's probably a ways out until we get something like, I don't know what you'd call it, like a, a row shut off or something like that, if that makes sense. I don't know what they coined the term as, but... We are done. So, I'm going to run back to the house quick. I'll probably just stop at the edge of the field there, and then we'll just grab... I'm, I'm going to run and grab a PB, PB&J or something. we like gra get across the other field, keep going. I think we're good on fuel. We should be good on seed. We probably got 60-70% seed. I could top it off, but I think we'll be good. This is where it gets a little sketchy. I think what I'm going to try to do is just sneak right around here. Oats are looking pretty good, though. Seems like they're coming up strong. Okay. I'm going to run inside real quick. PB&J, a cookie, and a smoke. Sounds good to me. Finishing up PB and J and smoke. Now there is a little bit of ground back there that we didn't get done, and it started raining. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting the Massey out or the or the 40 4440. Just hook it up to the disc. So I'm gonna jump in the tractor and just shut it off quick. It'll probably take 
the tractor shut off. It'll probably take 15 minutes max, as long as it doesn't take me a long time to get this disc hooked up. And then we're good to go. The 4440 should be able to do her. She's got a lot of horsepower. She's an open cab tractor, but she's, she's got a lot of power. Fire up. Good thing we kept the duels on her. She's warmed up. Let's gear up here. I'm going to be honest, guys. I absolutely love running this 4440. Something about driving in an open cab tractor with duels, disking up ground, smell the soil, actually. Ooh, smells good. Just doesn't smell like smoke the whole time in the cab because I'm smoking. At least the clean air flushes it out. We'll back up to the disc, get the hydraulics connected. Get the draw bar hooked up. There we go, we should be good. Okay, there we go. And you know what? I actually have storage in here. I should really be taking care of my equipment better and putting it in this building because we have so much storage in there. I don't know why I even put it outside. Let's gear up here. And I know you guys are probably like, oh, squad, why are you driving over the crop? This was last year's crop that just went horribly bad on the previous landowner's ground. And this is just, it's a goner. He took insurance and he got out of the mirror. So if you see it, you can kind of see it back there. That's what we got to disc up. It's way back to the timber there. And here we are. This is what I got to get. Some of this soil is pretty good back here. So I'm going to unfold the disc. We're going to get disc in this. Hopefully, I don't think we've had the 4440 on here. I think we'll be fine. Put her in gear. Drop her down. Oh yeah, she pulls just fine. What's kind of nice about a lot of our ground is we always have turnaround space back here. It works pretty good. We'll lift that disc up. Make the turn. This is beautiful. Can't get anything better than this. Look at this. Beautiful. Just a slight breeze. Disking with the 4440. Everything's going good today. Birds are flying. So I'm going to do one pass along here. We got these... Heck, I don't even know... I don't even know what this weed is, but we got these weeds kind of coming up along here. I'm going to knock these down, and that way we also have more room to turn around on this last pass here. It's going to be rough pulling out of the field because you're going to have to go over disc stuff, I know. But uh, it gives us a little more room here. And there we go. Pull up, make our turn. We got, what, like three or more, three, ah, uh, probably like five or six more passes through here. And we'll be good. But just look how dark this soil is down here. This is some thick stuff. It usually yields well, as long as you can kind of break it up. Okay, we are done. Fold up the disc. Should be good to go. Head back home. If I can get most of this planted, I'll be one happy man. For now, I think we're going to put... We'll just put the 4440 uh, just right up here. Try not to get in the way. I have a feeling I'm going to have to use this disc again because we got a lot more ground to be disking. So I think for now, I'm not going to be able to fit the duels in here. But I'll just leave the 4440 hooked up to her just right in here. Are we going to fit? I think we'll be good. There we go. Right there. That'll be good. 4440? She pulled her well. I love this little beast. Let's fire up the 4450, get planting that ground. Put her in gear, shift up. Well, I probably should have went out the other entrance, because right now, now we're going to put her in road gear. And then go all the way up over here, then enter the field, and then go down. I need What I need is I need a field entrance right there. I need to borrow some of these dozers or something to create a field entrance over there. Now this is going to be rough planting through here, guys. It is. It just is. It's going to be... I'm going to probably try to do the headlands first and then work our way around. We'll stop her and unfold her. I'll probably try to do two passes on the headlands here. Let's pull in here. Now, if I was smart, I probably should have cultivated this, too. Here we go. Let's 
seems to be good. We'll shift it up. So what I've been saying about these soils is these lower bound soils through here seem to yield some of the best, is what the previous owner had said. Some of this upper ground up here on the top of the hill doesn't yield as good, but some of this, he's like, this is some of the best soils in the county down through here. So I got to make sure we do this right. I got to make sure we spray everything. We've got lime already on there. Keep going. I think we'll just lift her up here. Drop her down. Keep going. So far, this is working good. So what I'm going to have to do eventually is get somebody cultivating ahead of me, I think. Once we start working that ground up there, I think that's a plan. I'm going to stop and make sure everything's going good. Make sure planters run good. Is anything clogged up here? Nah, we're good. And then check seed. Two inches? Yeah, that'll be good. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Now, I don't know how long it was, but what I try to do is at the beginning of the video, I try to make a part that that is good. For, like, this is honest. This is truly honest. A part that really attracts people to the video because straight up farming does not attract people to the video. So the first part is like maybe some crazy stuff, you know, some some role play. We go visit a farm or I, I don't know, something like that. Train falls over or truck flips over. And the second part is just hard on farming for those who want hard on farming. That's kind of the goal. I know it's kind of like slimy trying to get you into the video, but that's the fact. Farming doesn't do as good. So I try to make them really long for those who just want, want some good old farm. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. And hey, I'll see you guys for, for the next video.